Hey everyone! Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and I make YouTube videos about The Sims. So today we are back with another Every Room is a Different Blank Challenge. I love these challenges so much. Today we're doing Every Room is a Different Zodiac Sign. I'm very excited. I really like astrology. If you haven't seen my video where I do a cast challenge where I make uh, Zodiac Signs as Sims, definitely go check that out. I'll link it in one of these corners up here. Um, before we get into this video, don't forget that I stream on Twitch at least three times a week and like this video if you like it and subscribe. Those both all really help me out. <laughs> okay, so I I have a wheel with each of the zodiac signs on and let's get the one for the outside of the house first. Okay, so here is the wheel and let's spin for the outside of our house. <gasps> Virgo! Oh my goodness, okay. So this is the shell I made. It's very simple, very basic as my shells for these challenges usually are. Um, but let's do our outside of the house. Now this doesn't mean front yard, backyard. That's gonna be one sign itself. Um, this is just like the actual physical you know, walls and windows and stuff. So Virgo is an earth sign, so I think we'll try and keep the earthy tones. Maybe we'll do a few things from like eco lifestyle. Yeah, lots of like greens and browns and very muted colors. And I think we'll do these solar shingles in this weird <laughs> green yellow color, but I think it kind of works. I think it kind of works. Maybe we'll do this like season siding. It does not match our, our roof color that we chose, so I'm gonna change that, but I do like the season siding. And another thing about Virgos is that like they're very neat and logical, and so I don't think we're gonna clutter this up too much at all. Um, we're gonna do some nice landscaping, but we're gonna make sure it's nice and organized. I feel like I've put a lot of windows in this house, but we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. And for the landscaping, we're not gonna go too crazy. We're gonna keep it like not too many like colors, just kind of very, like I said, earthy tones. Okay, so here's our outside of the house inspired by Virgo, the earth sign, lots of muted tones and lots of plants to represent the earthiness. I really like it. I'm gonna do more landscaping probably in the back and in the front, but I'm gonna wait until we figure out the sign for our front yard and backyard before we do that. But I think I'm gonna save that for last. So let's pop in, this is our way, and let's see what sign we get for that one. All right, spinning for the entranceway. <gasps> Scorpio, oh my gosh, wait, I love this. So Scorpios are a water sign, but they're probably like the least watery of the water signs. I would call them the fire signs of the water signs, if that makes any sense. Um, they're very determined, very passionate, ambitious. They can be like a little jealous, a little assertive. So maybe we'll do like some hints of blue for water, but I'm thinking like greens and reds for the assertiveness and the jealousness and like that kind of stuff. And like I said in my other Zodiac video, this is not personal at all. This is like barely even based off the people I know who are these signs. This is like a lot of like the traits that I'm reading on the internet to try and give it the most objective. I don't want to like bring in any of my personal bias to this. So I am sure you are a lovely person. Don't worry. Like your sign is like only part of who you are. So don't worry if, if I say anything bad. Maybe we'll do like a blue archway into the living area as sort of like an homage to the water sign of the Scorpio. Do we have anything that's sort of scorpion-ish? No, we don't. Scorpios can also be like pretty, pretty emotional depending on who you, um, depending on who you talk to and who you know. The only thing is I don't know how to convey that in an entrance way, you know? And they can also be a little chaotic. So I'm like, what if we go with like some chaotic flooring? And obviously when I say chaotic, I mean chaotic in the best way possible. I absolutely love the Scorpios that I know. So I mean, this is like the exact kind of chaotic that I mean, like these crazy floors and these, these crazy walls. I think maybe we need some more blue though. Actually, this is per this is perfect because it has some blue and some green. It's great. Um, what, should, what are we doing about the stairs? Great question. Oh, you know what stairs are absolutely chaotic? These ones that have no back to them. I always feel like I'm gonna fall through. Like in real life, I always feel like I'm gonna fall through. They're so chaotic. They're so just wild. And I feel like they perfectly fit. Our Scorpio vibes. I'm really trying to think if we have anything Scorpion-y, but I really don't think we do. I haven't watched other people do this challenge that much, so I don't know like if they found something that I didn't that goes with Scorpio and stuff. It's a little minimalistic, it's a little out there, but I think that's perfect for our chaotic, passionate, assertive Scorpio entranceway. Like that entrance, that's an assertive entranceway. You walk in there, you're like, oh, okay. So next we have this living area here. And let's see what sign we get for that. All right, spinning for the living area. <gasps> Pisces! 
yes, Pisces, another water sign. Pisces are a water sign. They're super, super emotional, super intuitive. I mean, almost to a fault. It can be very, very attached, very dreamy. I mean, definitely blue vibes, water vibes we're gonna have here. And just a very laid back chill area. Maybe, maybe even a little messy. I don't know a Pisces that can keep their life together, so. All right, so what looks like the comfiest couch? Maybe this one, that looks pretty luxurious. And it's not even so much that Pisces love luxury, it's just that they love to be chill and chilling out. And Pisces are very like ethereal, empathetic, just very much in their feelings. Once again, I don't really know how to convey this in, in a room. I'm almost tempted to put like a single bed in this room because Pisces love, they love naps. It might be, it might be a little crazy, but what if we do it? Like imagine, imagine it's like a day bed, you know, like you could sit there or you could also sleep there. We don't really have day beds in the game, so we'll just use that. I feel like I would vote Pisces like most likely to care about their plants more than they care about themselves. And another thing is that Pisces like anything that can like give them an escape uh, from reality. So maybe we'll give them like a computer, a laptop, maybe they like gaming or watching movies or things like that. Oh, you know what a Pisces loves to do? A Pisces loves to cry. So we will of course be giving some tissues there. I would love to put more in here. I really would, but I've taken up a lot of this other space with a bed. Maybe we'll throw in this rug. It looks very like, almost like flowing water. We could do, oh my God, oh my God, what if we did that? Oh my God, what if we did that? We can't do it, we can't do it, right? I know this is supposed to be like layers of the earth, but I think that looks very watery and flowy. So I think that works, that works for us. Pisces are like very likely to be more creative, you know, either in music, in art, in any kind of creative outlet, they're more likely to take that up. This is not statistics, this is just me saying that, but I'm just saying. Okay, there's our Pisces living area. I really like it. I think it's, I think it's very cute. We got some plants, a, a place, a wonderful place for naps for Pisces. A, a computer for either watching movies or playing games and just a, a beautiful loungy area with some tissues for the Pisces crying. It's not, it's not weakness it's strength to be crying that much. Let's do our dining area next. I usually like to do the kitchen before I do dining areas, but we'll do our dining area. Okay, spinning for the dining area. What are we gonna get? Ooh, ooh, Capricorn. Okay, so like Virgos and Tauruses, Capricorn is an earth sign. They're very practical. Earth signs are very practical. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, which is the taskmaster planet. So Capricorns do love to be having tasks. They're probably like the most laid back of the earth signs though, but don't, don't get it wrong though. They're still very ambitious, very task oriented, really perfectionistic, and they're very practical. So let's go with like a practical earthy vibe dining area. So Capricorns aren't really into anything flashy or anything. So we'll probably just go with like a chill, a chill dining table. I think the earthy like wood, wood tones are definitely the vibe. I don't think this table has matching chairs for some reason. And once again, earthy tones, earthy vibes. We're going to be having some plants in this room. And honestly, there really wouldn't be too much else in this room. Um, they wouldn't want it to be too flashy or like I said, impractical. I was thinking maybe a little sitting area back here, but I don't know. Maybe we'll just do a hallway table. Oh, and we can't be forgetting any books. Love that. And maybe we'll put some drapes on these windows. I don't think a practical earth sign would put drapes by a candle bowl. Um, I think they would kind of realize the error in that. I think the easel is the closest we can get to like giving them a task. Cause like, or we could put this bulletin board in and like, I feel like a Capricorn would be the one to be like, okay, here's all the family chores. Here are all our tasks. Um, I feel like that's more fitting. Yes, that's very Capricorn. Ooh, you know what? The dark woods kind of look good. And the dark wood is more practical. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to see the dirt coming in, all that stuff. Okay, I love that. There is our Capricorn dining room. And on to the kitchen. Spinning for the kitchen. Oh. <gasps> Aries, yes! So Aries are a fire sign. They are the first sign in the zodiac. They're very assertive. I think we should go with, you know, red and orange for the fire sign in them. A lot of my very good friends are Aries, so I love this for them. I'm really like, oh, they're a fire sign. Like, do we even need a sink? Cause that's water. No, but I think obviously a kitchen would need a sink. I wanna put a fire pit in here so bad. You guys don't even know how bad, but I think we will settle for a lot of candles. Oh, we could do this candle chandelier too. 
Oh yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I wanna put this in here. I wanna put this in here. You know what? I'll size it down and it'll just be like a little, a little play campfire that we just put on our counter, right? We're gonna be putting a lot of smoke alarms in here since it's a fire sign, hee <laughs> hee. All right, there's our flooring to represent the fire. We could also put a fireplace, but like, I feel like it's just, it's a tight fit, you know? Oh, also a we didn't start the fire sign. That's perfect. Because Aries would totally start a theoretical fire, and then when all the other signs come and be like, did you start the fire? They'd be like, no. No, what? I don't know what you're talking about. Like, that's big fire sign energy. Okay, here's our Aries kitchen. Wait, oh my gosh, Aries kitchen. Aries kitchen is a series, a vegan cooking series by Julian Solomita, and he's an Aries, so he calls it Aries kitchen. Oh my God, Julian, this is your kitchen, if you're watching this. <laughs> so coming upstairs, we have this hallway. Unfortunately, not much can go in it, but I did calculate it in my 12 things, 12 rooms for 12 zodiac signs. So let's get a sign for our hallway. What's it gonna be? Ooh, Aquarius. So Aquarius is an air sign. A lot of people think it's a water sign, but it's not, it's an air sign. The big thing about air signs is that they don't really do feelings. They are like super analytical um, and logical. And in that sense, they don't they don't be liking, liking the feelings. So I am gonna continue our black fence up here just cause it matches the railing, but I am going to be doing like more of an air inspired look. What if we did this wallpaper? Cause like that's definitely supposed to be clouds. and that's that's very air sign of them. I think we should go with a light hardwood to represent the the air, you know? We also have some cloud lights we can throw in. We also have cloud decals. But something like practical and logical um, and analytical I can put in here. Oh, we could put some toddler blocks since those are directly the thinking skill. Like there's the logic skill also, but you know what does fit here is some toddler blocks. So that definitely helps the thinking. Let's put some of those in here. Unfor yeah, like I said, unfortunately not much is gonna fit in here, but I like this. Um, the air is great, you know, just, just there. And I guess I'll give you a fun fact. If you're wondering why Aquarius is not a water sign, even though it has aqua water, in it, it is because um, it's obviously named after Aquarius and Aquarius is the water bearer, but Aquarius like holds the water. Like the Aquarius is the bearer of water, but they, do they don't get their hands wet, you know? You can look it up if you're really interested. I'm sure the internet does a much better job of explaining it. So here's our Aquarius hallway with some air cloudy vibes. It's honestly very, very bright um, with also our thinking analytical a uh, skill building item for the toddlers. <laughs> so I think next we'll do this hall hall bathroom that I have off of here. Let's see what sign we get for that. <gasps> oh my goodness, we got cancer. That's a water sign. That's perfect for a bathroom with water. So cancer is the crab. So I think we should go with island living vibes here because island living is very like beachy, flowy, watery, you know. And cancers like other water signs are very laid back, very like emotionally intuitive and just very chill. I gave them the lazy trait in my zodiac sign as Sims video. Wait, this is so cute. Cancers aren't whales, but they are watery. So we can use this as a bath mat. It literally doesn't match anything else in the room. But you know what? We'll make it match. We'll add some blue things. Okay, cool. I don't know if there's much more we can fit, but I like this for our cancer bathroom. I think it's pretty cute. Let's do our watery looking tiles and some other also blue tiles for the wall. There's our cancer bathroom. It's so cute. Wait, I really do like it. Okay, next let's come over here and do this bedroom. All right, we're getting down to the last few. What are we gonna get? Ooh, <gasps> Gemini, very fun. So Gemini, like Aquarius and like Libra, is an air sign. So first things first, we're gonna bring in our cloud lights. And Geminis, um, they're very friendly, pretty kind. I think I gave them friend of the world aspiration in my other video. Ooh, let's give them some rainbow butterflies because Gemini is also in June and that's Pride Month. We can give the air sign some balloons too, yes. I really like this and I really like this like wave on the bed. I feel like that could be like the wind. Let's do like a glass desk. I don't know why I feel like that fits with the air sign, but I feel like it does, it does fit. Move the desk into the wall just a little bit to make sure that it's playable. If you do want to go grab this on the gallery, gallery name, Sarah Kendall. Wait, I forgot we had this fishbowl decal. 
We gotta put that in the Pisces room. Wait, also I forgot the crab decal that we can put in the Cancer bathroom. Man, I don't know what else we can do for Gemini. Maybe we'll put like, oh, maybe we'll put a little table up here. We could put like these and these are like pictures of all their friends. I think that works. I think we should put more balloons. You know what? I think it looks great. Ooh, what if we went with um the like peak wallpaper? Because like air signs climb to the peak so you'd be at the top so you'd be further into the air yes okay cool i mean it is what it is that's our gemini bedroom and let's go do this other bedroom before we pop over to the master all right so we're either gonna get leo libra sagittarius or taurus i'm very excited Ooh, Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is a fire sign. It's the last of the fire signs. They're very independent, adventurous, honest, straightforward, tell it like it is kind of people. So let's let's figure out what room we're gonna do. Ooh, this is really good for a fire sign wall. And I feel like it's a more muted fire sign energy, which definitely um, makes sense as it's the last of the fire signs. What if we did, what if we went sort of an outdoor retreat kind of vibe, as in like adventurous, going outdoorsy? I think we could do that. I don't know many Sagittarians, but the ones that I do know are pretty outdoorsy and like adventure. So we'll go outdoor retreat for them. And it's good because these outdoor retreat wood tones are also orangey and red for the fire sign, you know. Ooh, that orange chair, perfect. What kind of artwork should we go with? With. I don't know. Ooh, maybe maybe something like that. That's very fiery, very outdoorsy. Maybe we'll go with the same kind of bright flooring to represent that Sagittarians are usually pretty optimistic, always trying to look on the bright side. Um, I think that works really well for us. So in true fire sign energy, we will be keeping the void critter to represent the fire sign. Okay, yes, here's our Sagittarius bedroom. I'm in love. Okay, let's do our master bedroom. What's it gonna be? Oh. Oh, Leo. Okay. So Leo is the other fire sign. And if you watched my other Zodiac video, you know, I gave them the world famous celebrity trait, the self-absorbed trait, not in a bad way. I never mean it in a bad way, but I think we should go with get famous, like everything get famous. I think we should go over the top because Leos are a fire sign. Like it really fits. I think we should just go everything get famous. Yes, marble walls, marble floors. So Leos are supposed to be a lion, but unfortunately there's not really such a thing as lion print. So we'll go tiger print to represent that big cat energy. Oh, and you know what we absolutely should do is do a wall of mirrors, yes. I love it so much. We'll do our fluffy rugs again. I feel it's very fitting. I think instead of a desk, they're gonna have multiple dressers. Ah, oh, I love that door. It's a great door. I think they have a poof or two if they if they need to do some sitting. They have a couple of those. Maybe they even have a makeup chair. That's perfect. Oh my gosh. Yep. That's it. That is our Leo themed, more get famous themed than anything else, but that is our Leo bedroom and I think it's awesome. <laughs> so let's do our last spin that will determine what's our bathroom and what is our backyard and front yard area. All right, it's either gonna be Taurus or Libra for the bathroom. Let's see, what's it gonna be? <gasps> Oh, it's gonna be Taurus, yay. So Taurus is an earth sign, so we're gonna go with our earthy tones again. But another thing Taurus's do love is a li life of luxury. So maybe we, what if we keep the Ket Famous theme going? You know, the kind of luxurious items, but we'll, we'll, we'll look for the muted tones. Like that, that's a muted tone. That's fancy, but it's a muted tone. Once again, that's fancy but it's a muted tone. And a bathrobe to be in the luxurious bathrobe energy. Does that make sense? Does that make any sense to anyone? I don't know. And maybe we'll go with like a muted green tile. Do we have that? Do we have that? Does that exist? Um, That's probably the closest we'll get to a muted green. I like it though. I do actually like that. And some matching. Ooh, yes. I love our Taurus bathroom. It is luxurious, but it's also like muted and earthy tones. So I like that. So that means we have Libra for our backyard and our front porch. I was only gonna do a pool if we got a water sign for the backyard. So I don't think we'll be doing a pool even though we literally do have the space. I think we'll do kind of like a communal gathering area because Libras are an air sign. They're talkative, they like their friends. Um, they're analytical and things like that. And Libras are also like the scales. So do we have something like a scale that we can size up? Oh yeah, we do. Um, that's it. That's the backyard. 
No, actually, I'm literally I'm literally leaving this though. Like that's our Libra backyard. I love it. But yeah, as for like the back porch area, um, let's go with like a, a picnic table for communal seating. Very nice. And Libras are also known for being like sort of charming. So what can we go with that sort of has like a charm to it? This is kind of charming. We'll go with this. We'll even do an outdoor seating area. Just a lot of seating. Let's do a little movie hangout area. Cause like hangout, you know, movie hangout hang out with friends. And also a lot of the stuff in Movie Hangout is what I would call charming. <laughs> you know what's also charming? A bike. I don't know how, but it just like is charming to have a bike. Now the internet says Libras can also be a bit vain. So where do we put a mirror? Oh yeah, we'll do a mirror section over here. But wait, isn't this like the funnest little movie hangout spot? Yes, to hang out with your friends. And for our front porch area, I think we'll just do the same kind of thing. Just a few seating areas. This is a charming little bench. Let's do two of those. Put a few of those in there. Very, very symmetrical, which is, which is good for the Libras. Okay, yes, our Libra front front yard area. I mean, it's really just that. And the Libra backyard to hang out with friends, to be very charming. I love it. Okay, so this is the house from the outside. It's our Virgo inspired earthy tones, very practical outside. And you come in through the Libra front porch, a little charming, I'd say. And then our chaotic Scorpio entranceway. I love it. I really do love it. And then our watery, empathetic Pisces a uh, living area with a place to nap, some tissues to cry, a place to be overly emotional. We love it. And then over here to our Capricorn dining room, very practical, very earthy tones, and our Aries kitchen. I am in love with it. It is so fiery with candles all over, just feisty, fiery, um, very assertive. It's very in your face. I love it. And then our Aquarius hallway, very air sign-y. Um, but also blue with hints of water because Aquarius is the bearer of water. We did our cancer bathroom complete with a crab decal and just water sign energy, but very calm and chilled laid back energy as well. Over here to our air sign Gemini bedroom with the butterflies to represent all the friends of the Gemini and also pride month. And then a picture of what I assume all of Gemini's friends and some balloons and cloud lights to represent the airiness as well. And then over here to our Sagittarius Harry's adventurous bedroom. Once again, a uh, void critter, the fire sign void critter. We love it. Lots of oranges and reds to represent the fire and a lot of outdoor retreat to represent the adventure. And uh, honestly, I love the Leo get famous bedroom. Another fire sign, very assertive, very in your face, very luxurious and... And yeah, I, I like it a lot. And then our Taurus bathroom, um, life of luxury, but also very muted laid back earth tones. And last but never least, our Libra backyard. Perfect for hanging out with friends. It's perfect for being charming and just very clever and fun like a Libra is. So that's the video. That's the build. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, last thing I want to say, uh, none of the things that I've said about these signs are specific to you. If you are one of those signs, if you get any offended, or even if you don't think that you match a lot of these traits, your moon sign, your rising sign, a lot of your other um, star placements have to do with uh, how astrology um, makes you as a person. So if you don't feel like you relate, comment down below. I'd love to hear. Um, and yeah, so so like this video if you like it and subscribe to keep more fun sims content coming um follow me on twitch on twitter you know all the fun stuff oh also instagram um i love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye